Once you have all your old photos in your computer, I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do with them, especially if you need to do things like touch them up. Came across a program called paint.net. What I liked about it, it was absolutely free, and essentially what you'd use it for is to replace the Microsoft Paint program that comes with your computer if you're using a Windows-based computer. I've got it loaded up here, and let me just show you what I mean. I've got three photos loaded in here, and on the first one, we're gonna look at this black and white photo that we have of a young girl with a horse. And what I'm gonna do first is show you how to select an area that I want to crop. I simply just crop the image. So now I've got the area that I like, the photo that I wanna have, and then I can actually go up and put some effects on it here. I'm gonna put an effect called sepia. So now we've got a crop to the image that we want and a cool effect. Now the next thing that I wanna show you, we've got a photo of Kim and her baby here. And as you can see, it has a lot of scratches and there's a lot of noise in the photo. I'm gonna show you a nifty little tool. If you use your little toolbar over here and click on the clone stamp tool. What we do is by selecting an area that's good, we simply just clone it and then stamp out the area we wanna get rid of. You see how simple that is? If I zoom back out here, you can see that we've got this nice clean photo now. We got rid of a lot of those scratches and marks. Last one I wanna show you, this is a picture that's overexposed. We've scanned this one in and let's face it, um, it's not a great photo. So I'm gonna show you how we can go into things like adjustments. We're gonna start with brightness and contrast. Simply by adjusting the brightness or the contrast, you can quickly see how I might get some detail back in that photo. Well, let's take that one step further. I'm gonna to go to this tool called Curves. Now what this does is this allows me to drag a line that has sort of an inverse relationship between the brightness and the contrast. And you can see here how I can manipulate it so that I can get certain areas of the photo with rich, rich detail and other areas that still have that sort of misty effect. Now that we have all three photos all touched up, I wanna show you some things you can do like print them. We're gonna take a look today at the Canon multifunction printer. It's called the MG8120. And if you have the desk space, this is definitely a photo printer that you might wanna take a look at. First of all, we've printed out that photo that we touched up, that first one with the little girl on the horse. And as you can see here, we've cropped that in and we've added that CP effect. Now this is a beautiful photo. This would be something I'd recommend you frame and actually put on the wall in your house. That way anyone who comes over gets to see it. They don't have to crowd around your computer. Another thing I liked about this photo printer, if we open up the top here, we've been talking a lot today about things like slides and film. Well, if I click this off, it has a built-in slide and negative scanner in it. And that's pretty cool. I thought that was a neat function because usually you have to order those attachments separate. I'm just gonna close that up here. Another thing that I liked, video CDs or photo CDs is something that you can easily share with like your parents or your grandparents. Well, this printer can actually print an image and text right onto the CD itself. I'll show you how that works. First of all, you'll need a CD with a printable surface, and once you have that, you simply put it into the tray here like this, and now inside the printer here, if I pull this little lever down, you can see there's another tray there. I'm gonna slide in my CD tray, nice and easy here. I wanna line up those two arrows. Once I've done that, the printer does all the rest. Simply just choose the photo I wanna print onto it and the text that I wanna write, and it's that simple. So if you wanna to touch up your photos, take a look at paint.net. It's absolutely free. And if you wanna do some fun, cool printing, check out this multifunction printer from Canon. This is the MG8120.